What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Justin Four here, bringing us more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Today, I'm playing the DLC map Sideshow. Now, I thought the DLC maps were gonna be crappy, but damn, there are classical confrontation maps. They, they, I like these maps. I mean, I wasn't really gonna spend sixty bucks on the DLC or whatever. How much it cost? I think it cost me like forty nine. Never mind, it's not sixty bucks. It cost me forty nine on the on the PS4, and um. I ended up playing on my first map on Sideshow, and, um, you know, it, it is kind of a good map, and um, it's not because, oh, you know, the players you're playing against, it's too easy, you know, whatever, no. Um, the reason why is because it gives more of a strategic advancement on, uh, you know, once you spawn, you gotta strategically advance in some certain parts of the map, because, you know, there's one side that's pretty much wide open, the other side is pretty much filled with houses, and whoever spawns on the open side... You have to advance strategically because you're never going to get out of there. You're going to pretty much be spawn trapped there and uh, you're going to be an easy target. So you're going to have to like sneak around past some certain points in order for you to survive around here in this map. And um, that's what I like. You know, it, it reminds me a lot of um, not Black Ops 2 because Black Ops 2 had the freaking same repeated uh, process, which is like three three roads. And, you know, it's, it's just super dumb. But it reminded me a, a lot of uh, uh, Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3, you know, it did have multiple paths and you can advance through any side and you, you will sneak right past the enemy lines. And that's exactly what I did in this game. And, um, you know, it is it is pretty much of an awesome map. I give it like, um, it's not that great because, you know, I hate that one side is wide open while the other side has filled, is filled up with houses and the spawn places are like way off. But um, I like this map. I give it like a seven out of ten. You know, it pretty much it's better than the, some of the maps in uh, in the game in Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. And um, I was playing on TDM, by the way. I was playing the rotations of the DLC map only, and um, I recommend to play it because there's not a lot of tryhards. There's not a lot of clans roaming around. It's just a very few clans, and uh, I did manage to play a lot of games. And I got I got like mostly around 25 kills per game. And it's pretty awesome because I was like, damn, you know, at least I don't have the pressure of ground war. Ground war, I have, to, I am pressured to get like at least forty kills because there's a lot of people running around. So, um, compared to that, like, I think, I think the this is the first time I'm ever gonna consider playing a lot, a lot more TDM because um, there's not a lot of things going on, and you know, it just takes a lot of strategy to move around and take out a person like one by one. So, and, and by the way, you have to do it stealthy. You're not they're gonna find you. So. Anyways, I recommend buying the DLC for this one though, Havoc, and uh, buy it. It's like ten bucks. If you have ten bucks laying around, you may buy it, and I recommend it because I already played on all the maps, and um, I'll be showing you guys how the game plays where I played the other maps, and I'll give you guys my opinion about those maps. So far, the Sideshow one is a pretty cool map. It reminds me a lot of a map in Modern Warfare 3, but I don't know what the name it is. I forgot the name, and it's quite similar. It's just can't can't remember at all so anyways the weapon that i was using by the way is the ak-47 pretty much of a great accurate weapon the way i have it set up is just makes it super accurate i can't believe it but the thing that really sucks though is it doesn't have enough freaking ammo i believe this is the, the lowest amount of ammo a gun has I mean, it, it only has like around 120 i'm not sure if the other weapons do have the same thing but i believe the ak-47 has the, the, the least I believe it does, because when I use the BAL and the other SMG, the ASM-1, I feel those guns have more bullets than the AK. Like, seriously. And I'm being so accurate that I'm just killing every single person, like, with 10 bullets. So, I'm actually wasting all my bullets with, like, per person, like, super accurate, and I still don't have enough ammo for to take out at least more. So, um, I don't know. I feel like this gun has the less amount of bullets and, from all the weapons, and I'm still taking out people, but it kind of sucks. I, I, I know I can do more. But I don't want to use scavenger either because I know I'm going to get freaking system hack at some point. So, um, I don't know. It's, it's a very questionable weapon, but it's super accurate. I'll give you guys my best class setup on the AK-47 uh, or whatever the name is. This. But, um, yeah, it's going to work out for you guys because it's going to work for you, for you on the on the, on the the big stages. Because um, there's always going to be that moment where you can't even use an SMG because everything's from long range. And the AK-47 is going to be there for you. And by the way, I did get the DLC weapons, the one that, that pretty much shoot lasers out of the, out of the freaking barrel. Kind of suck, because it um, really ruins the momentum of the game. I don't, I don't really like that futuristic game, you know. I wanted to keep it, like, for real, like, the real-life weapons and shit. I hate the laser weapons. I did, I did manage to use the Ohm and the other one, the other um, laser weapon. 
I don't like them. I don't like them that they're in the game. The OM is super accurate, and I can't believe it's a light machine gun if it's uh, it feels like an SMG. It's like it's in the wrong category and shit. Well, I'll explain about that more later on in another gameplay. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. It's a pretty cool gameplay. I won like 25 kills and so. So, subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the best class setup for the AK.